Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The month of Ramadan is around the corner. It's days away. And Allah Azza wa Jal blessed this ummah with the month of Ramadan because it's a distinct period of time. Allah Azza wa Jal instilled in it a lot of goodness. It has a lot of virtues and features. One of the virtues of this month is that fasting it is a fulfillment of servitude to Allah. You see, fasting is a secret between the slave and his Lord. Behind closed doors, anyone can eat and drink or nullify his fast doing anything else. So when a person, when a slave fasts correctly, he is only doing it because he wants to adhere to the commandments of Allah Azza wa Jal and thus he will be fulfilling servitude to his Lord. Fasting is one of the five pillars of Islam. So fasting Ramadan will mean that one is fulfilling one of the pillars of his faith as in the narration reported by Al-Bukhari. Mankind usually don't feel the sufferings of others until they go through it. We do not appreciate what needy and poor people go through on daily basis. The hunger and thirst they experience on daily basis until we suffer like them. Therefore, fasting Ramadan is a way of making us actually feel what others feel for a month and therefore appreciate what they're going through so we can help them as a community. Uh, fasting was made as a source, fasting Ramadan was made as a source or a means to forgive sins. The Prophet ﷺ said, whoever fasts Ramadan sincerely for the sake of Allah and with the hope to be rewarded from Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah Azza wa Jal will expiate, will forgive all his previous sins. Likewise, Qiyam, Taraweeh. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever prays the night prayers during Ramadan, and now he said, this is referring to Taraweeh, Allah will forgive all his previous sins. So that's two things that will expiate and make you forgiven for all the previous sins. Acts of worship are facilitated during the month of Ramadan. How? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when the month of Ramadan starts, the doors of the Jannah, will be opened and the doors of Jahannam will be closed and the devils will be chained. Al-Qadi Iyad said, the devils being chained means or results in their harm decreasing and their evil impact or influence on the believers will be lessened. The connection between the slave and his Lord is through dua. And in the month of Ramadan in particular, the Prophet ﷺ said, every believer during the day and the night of Ramadan has a dua which will be accepted by Allah, which will be honored by Allah Azza wa Jal, which is great. The Prophet ﷺ said, every night in Ramadan, Allah Azza wa Jal frees a group of people, a number of people from the fire of hell, which is another distinct feature and virtue of that month. And finally, just as Ramadan is the cream of the months, there is a cream in Ramadan. It is the night of Al-Qadr. The Prophet ﷺ said about this, he said, there is a night meaning in Ramadan, the virtue of which is better than 1,000 months. That's more than 83 years. This means that the virtue of worshipping Allah during that night is better than worshipping Allah for 83 years plus. He said after that, whoever is deprived, meaning from that night, is indeed the one who is deprived meaning deprived of all goodness. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to prolong our lives and make us live long enough to reach Ramadan 
and enable us to worship him as he would be pleased with us. Allahumma ameen. Assalamu alaikum.